Welcome to the Kidling Conference 2020. My name is Stellan Kimberg. I am a retired math and natural sciences teacher. I have volunteered in Kidling since 1997. I am now the chairman of the Kidling Association that leads the Kidling project. Kidling Association is registered in Italy on Lipari, north from Sicily. We have nine active projects and four of them will be presented today. The Killing Project, project started in 1989 in Arendal in Norway as part of a local art event. It ran on a university network. Internet did not exist at that time. Christian, Crystal Belker was the first uh, student that uh, answered the four questions of our first project that is called response of four Q for four questions. You find all in the information uh, to run this project in, uh, in response at site slash site kidlink.org. In, in 1985, uh, internet became accessible and a lot of teachers, me included, uh, joined the Kidlink project sharing project ideas and uh, donating these to the Killing Project. So the Killing Project has a lot of uh, projects that are looking for managers. In 1999, we got the first prize at the Bangiman 1999, as I said, for recognizing practical and functional information technology projects. The former chairman uh, uh, got the prize here from the King of Sweden. The goal for the Killing Project is to empower youth with no-cost educational programs, encourage creativity in social networks, and encourage cross-cultural youth collaboration. Collaboration. And our projects are the students, the pupils, are the authors and creators, and the world is their audience. It's a good investment to uh, participate in a Killing Project. You, of course, you must invest some planning time the first time but students around the world will see their work uh, and so they get more motivated and independent. Uh, Killing Project's uh, volunteers have uh, uh, seen uh, that, that there are career opportunities participating. They said, I improved my English, I got a better salary, I got professional connections around the world and I became a better teacher also. Kidlink Association welcomes you to become a member. We are a no-profit organization. We have annual meeting every year for paying members, and we welcome also donations, of course. Fees and donations are, are used to pay our web server and server administration. The Kidlink board has members from nine countries. The, we are five deputy and eight ordinary, and of course, we are all volunteers. 44 volunteers have participated since 1991, uh, in, and they have all their page in our Wall of Fame. You find us uh, in uh, www.kidlink.net. There you find all information you need for to participate. And if you want to look at student works, you go to www.kidlink.org. My experiences with old and new teachers from Kinlinks. And uh, welcome to Kinlink Projects. I would like to share my experiences, how to join and how to lead our students to participate in Kinlink Projects. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Chen Hui Yu. I'm an English teacher from Chongqing Junior High School, New Taipei City, Taiwan. And uh, I would like to show you that this is my name card. And uh, if you want to connect it with other students and uh, teachers, you can make a name card. I think it's more easier and uh, efficiency for other teachers. And uh, we can ask ourselves first why we have to do clinic projects and around the world projects. Why? Because we all know that this situation is because of the influence of COVID-19 and more than 100 countries, they have to stay at home. Even teachers have to do the distance learning. So be safe, healthy, 
all will be well is the same goal. But the traditional cultural exchange have to be changed, of course, it's the necessary. So to be to change such a situation and uh, to to change the learning styles of COVID-19, this is our traditional cultural exchanges. And uh, for example, it's like a pistol parcels or cultural boxes exchange. And uh, we also send to each other and other country will send me back. But we have to rethink first, what can we do next step and how? and why we have to do. So we can think about that the 21st skills for our teachers and maybe for our students. What is the core subjects and the things? This is the standards and assessments for our students, right? So learning and innovation skill, just like four C's, is a critical thinking, communication, cooperation, creativity, and we have to, uh, inspire our students to create the life and the career skills and the teachers have to prepare their information media and technology skills of course but how so maybe you can choose to participate killing projects and uh, you have to choose this one to lend your students to cultivate and to create such kind of different skills. So you have to register the clinic and uh, to apply an application form first, it's just like this. And uh, after you fill in the register format, you can choose the project center, just click in and uh, choose the active projects. Just like this, you will see that school around the world projects, which cooperator, co coordinator is Lucine which is a very excellent top 10 uh, Russian teachers. And uh, we just see that the right side 2020 school and teams. And just click in, you will see that, wow, it's amazing. There are a lot of countries and schools here. And if you want more information, you can choose the select page. And this is Tongqing Junior High School's school page. And this is our black for Mosan bear, isn't it cute? And this is our national flag. If you want more information, you can just wait coordinator match after, and you can send mails, and you can use the free grid or even the pedal it, and uh, you can just take pictures or record the videos. I think Messenger is all, also very, very often to use. And then write postcard in traditional way. Now you can just write and uh, take pictures, send to other country schools or partner schools. I think it's okay. And the pissed off pictures is also the same way. You can just take pictures and uh, lend your students, introduce why he, he or she draw these dolls and the lend them introduce themselves, their pen, drawing or in painting works, I think is the, you know, the win-win ways. And this is the uh, school profile name card. Sometimes you can use it and the students and teachers will know your school first. And uh, maybe you can edit some GPS. And this is a teacher's profile card. Okay, let me show you how your students can do introduction. I will lend my teachers to play PPT first. And this is the sample I give to other English teachers. And then you can teach stu students, just write this format. Of course, they can change in another way. For example, it's hot and wet in our city in November, or I like to play basketball, soccer, reading, and what kind of the food, interest, hobbies, etc. Or it, maybe you can introduce your dress, your beautiful sceneries, etc. I think it's just, just a format teachers can offer. 
just on the Blackboard, or you can just like me use the PPT as a format for them to use. And then this is our grouping. Our my I grouping four to five students in a group and they will discuss and choose the postcard in a traditional way. And now maybe we can use just the type on the Padlet or use the free grid, just to record their voices, upload and the note to conquer the time differences. And you just record once, but you can cooperate with more than 10 more countries. So this is the technology APPs for teachers, even for your students, you can learn and use in class. I think they are more convenient now and the mentee mentor you can use in classroom. For example, you can vote or you can write and even they can do some interactions for after class evaluation. I think it's very efficient. And teachers free grade group. These are different countries teachers. And uh, maybe your students can create, a, a, for example, we, we have a climate change group which discuss about rainforest. And another thing we can talk about a climate action plan. And we can also have some other countries just talk about the water resources, etc. So maybe you can talk about SDG projects.